Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a multi-language website in WordPress using simple plugins. There are two ways to do it. One wherein you have to manually add the translated language content. Like if you have an English website, then you need to add manually a new content in French. That is one method. And there is one more method where it will automatically convert your English language into whatever language that you need uh, with similar functionality like this. If, you, if I click on translate, it's giving me an option to translate the whole thing into French. So you will learn this in this video. Stick around and watch this video to the very end. And if you have any kind of questions, you can ask me in the comments below. So let's get started. Firstly, open up your WordPress dashboard and you need to go to plugins since we will be adding a new plugin to actually uh, help us in translating our WordPress website. So the, the plugin that we are going to use is called as polylang. Search for the plugin polylang. And you need to install this particular plugin. So I have already installed this plugin, hence it is showing as active. So once you install it, click on plugins again. And then you should see something like welcome to Polyland. You are almost ready to translate your content. It will actually ask you to finish the setup wizard. So click on the setup wizard. And then it will give you a window where you can add the languages that you need for your website. So when selecting this language, make sure first you select the default language that you need for your website. So for my website, Things of Marketing, since I write my content on like in English, so I'll select English and click on add new language. So now after adding the default language that your website is in, then you can add in more languages that you need for your website to be converted. So for example, let me try to add French as a conversion. So I'm going to click on add new language again. So now I do have two languages selected. Likewise, you like feel free to add as many languages as you need. So this is free. So there is no limitation as in how many languages you can add. So once you select all your languages, click on continue. It will open up asking uh, like if you want to translate the metadata of your images and videos. Don't uh, you don't need to worry about you don't need to change anything. Just click on continue. And again, don't worry about uh, the next window. Just click on continue. Once you do that here, uh, it says that your default language is English. That is usually denoted by this star symbol, which is actually signifying that it's a default language. So then it is going to show your languages which, to which it is going to be converted and etc. So if you have added more languages, it would be listed there. Just click on continue. So once you do that, polylang is successfully added to your website. So now you can just go back, click on return to the dashboard. So now what you need to do is now your website is ready for translation. So what you need to do is go to the pages that you want to really change. Let me open up pages. To give you an example, let me open up this page called make money clicking on edit so 
so now if you look in the sidebar you can see there is the languages option that is added so which has two options which is English and French that's the one that we have selected so now what you need to do is English is already added so if you want to add your French translation what you can do is click on this plus symbol and it is going to redirect to a completely new page so here you need to redesign the whole thing you need to like you need to put in all the content in your respective language if you have selected French then you need to add content images everything again in the form of like that secondary language so I am not a person who knows French so I'll just give you an example uh, like let me just put in that this is French page title description so this is I'm just doing this so that you can know like how it looks in the front end but like actually you just need to add in your translated website uh, sorry translated content in this particular option just click on publish after that so once you have created this French page so now uh, if you go back to your dashboard it would actually create one more page which you just created but that would be in the French language so if you look at this particular column here so if this particular language in this case it's French if that is showing plus symbol that means that this particular page doesn't have a French translation you need to add it and if it's showing the flag it means that it's already like existing it's already there so just to give you an example if you see here this is the page which I created right this is the French page title so so this shows that I have already French translated and you don't need to really put any language for English because yeah that's how it is so some of the languages will be in English and some of them should be in French so now let me show you if you go to make money so you still can't see any like translation right you you still have only English and you don't have an option to actually change your language to French so how do you do this so for this you need to do one thing you need to go to appearances go to menu after installing this plugin you would have one more option in add menu which is called language switcher you need to select on languages and click on add to menu when you do that now if you open this up there are several options which actually shows up so let me just save this and show you how it looks as it is so you get a, you get a better picture so let me reload this page and you see what happened right so you saw these two options got added where if I click on French it should redirect and show me the French version there you go so this is the content which I had put for French so now you know like that's how the plugin works but this doesn't look so good so how can you make this better so you can do that with certain settings which are available here so if you look at here you can also show this as a drop down since it's showing up as like uh, two different options the menu is not long enough to contain it so I can change it as a drop down and also I, I can click on display flags to make it more beautiful okay so let me just reload this page there you go so yeah like you need to make some adjustment with menu like since I have a lot more lot of menu unwanted menu here so anyway 
uh, this thing is coming on the second line but in your case it should be simple it should come over here and it should be in a drop down like this so if you select the language that will go to a different like it will give you the translated version so guys that's how uh, you can actually create your manual translations to your WordPress website but if you don't have time for that and you want to actually uh, have a simple automatic way of translating your WordPress websites I can show you a better way so for that you need to go and remove the plugin which you just installed because this plugin is mostly for manual translation where you need to enter out a new page you need to enter new content for every new language it doesn't translate the existing content uh, from English to French you need to write down the French languages sometimes this can be good sometimes this can be bad so if you don't have time you can automatically do with do this with a different plugin so firstly just deactivate polylang and let me just delete it and also just to make sure I want to check if those particular page is still there you can just delete it because I don't need it so is there any other French related page here I don't see any other okay so now let me go back to plugins click on add new and just put in Google language you should get this particular option which says translate WordPress Google language translator install this plugin yeah once it is installed just click on activate So once this is activated, you should find the settings in like settings language, Google language translator, click on that. So now it will show you like choose the original language of your website, which is English in my case and what languages do I need translation for. What languages do I need the translation for? I'm going to select French and I'm just going to save changes. So now when you reload this page, you would get this option called translate. And then when you click on this, French button it should automatically translate all your website in French this is a faster way of doing it the whole website is actually converted into French so it automatically automatically translates the whole website rather than you individually writing the whole content again so there are certain settings that you can play around with by changing the layout the placement of this button so all that option you would find here so you can actually change according to whatever uh, you need like if I want this on the right hand side then I can click on align right you can even change the color widget color and you can click on save and the required changes will happen to your website hey guys don't go anywhere yet if you are watching this video right now chances are thousands of people just like you are going to watch my videos on my youtube channel to solve their problems or to learn something 
This is because I know how to create YouTube videos and I know how YouTube works. So my videos get shown to thousands of people. And I teach this. I teach this techniques of like how you can get your videos to get shown to like thousands of people on my YouTube channel. That's what I do. I am an internet marketer. I specialize in YouTube and several internet mediums like blogging, affiliate marketing, etc. And I teach them all for free in my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video, that's the very proof that my techniques are working and my methods are working. So if you like all such kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon.